let's go ahead and work through these next several questions. So in this, on this back page, really there's two main concepts. The first one is the linear pair, and we know that angles that form a linear pair are supplementary. That means they add up to 180. Uh, linear pairs, just sketch something. So linear pairs like angles one and angle two would form a linear pair. Even if the line crossed like this, angle one and angle two still form a linear pair if I put this was angle three, angle one and three are of a linear pair. So those are linear pairs. They will add up to equal 180 degrees. The other concept is vertical angles are congruent. Which means their measures will equal each other. Vertical angles, remember, if two lines intersect, angle one and angle two, that it would form vertical angles, and so those angles, their measures would be equal. Those really are the concepts that we'll use on this back page. So, in number 11, we see that this forms a linear pair. Linear pair. So we know, and you don't really have to write this equation out, but we know, we know that B plus 101 has to equal 180, because they are supplementary. They add up to 180. We could subtract 101 from both sides, We'll write it in there, so we're just going to subtract 101 from both sides, and we get that B is 79. So I said you don't have to write this equation. When you're just dealing with finding one variable B, you don't necessarily have to write it. Uh, once we get to 13 and 14, you definitely want to write the equation out. Number 12, let's see if we can squeeze this in somewhere. This is actually just 79 plus B is equal to 180. We would subtract 79 from both sides, and we get B is 101. So that's using the idea of linear pair. They add up to equal 180 degrees. Uh, number 13 and 14, these are still linear pairs. They'll add up to equal 180, but we will have to solve a bit of an equation here. So. Our first one, we have x plus 35. That's this angle. And then we'll go ahead and add 97. And that has to equal 180 because it forms a linear pair. And then we just go ahead and solve this little equation. We got x 35 and 97. That adds up to equal 132 equals 180. We would subtract 132 from both sides. And we get x is equal to 48. 14, very similar. The 103 plus the 3x plus 2, they have to add up to equal 180 degrees. So we have 103 we're going to add the 3x plus 2, and that has to equal 180. And once again, we're doing a little bit of algebra to solve this. The 103 plus the 2 is 105, plus 3x equals 180. We would subtract 105 from both sides. And we get 3x equals 75, dividing both sides by 3 gives us x equals 25. As a reminder, if you want to check, you can put that number back in for x, 3 times x. So 3 times 25 is 75, plus 2, that is 77. Do 103 and 77 add up to equal 180? Yes, they do. So x equals 25 is correct. 
All right, 15 through 18 now deals with vertical angles. There's some extra lines in some of these, but we really we just want to deal with the lines or focus on the lines that form the angles. And if we look at those, that's just two lines that intersect, and so those angles formed are vertical. When we have vertical angles, they have to equal each other. Do not set, add them together to equal 180. So 3x plus 2 is equal to 71. We're going to solve, subtract 2. We get 3x equals 69. Divide both sides by 3, and x equals 23. Again, we could take 23 and put it in for x. So let's try this out. We have 3 times 23 plus 2. 3 times 23 is 69 plus 2 does equal 71, and they are equal to each other, so we can check our answers. The next several are just more of the same. Here we have 64 has to equal 3x plus 1. So 64 equals 3x plus 1. Solving that, we would subtract 1 from both sides. That gives us 63 equals 3x. Dividing both sides by 3 gives us that x would be equal to 21. We'll finish these off, although I don't know that you need me to run through all of them. These, again, are vertical angles. Two lines intersect. The 48 and the 5x plus 3 are vertical angles. So let's see if we can put it in right here. 48 is equal to 5x plus 3. We're just going to solve. So we would subtract 3 from both sides. We get 45 is equal to 5x. Dividing both sides by 5 gives us x equals 9. And the last one from this section, once again, it's vertical angles. So 6x plus 3 equals 75. Subtract 3 from both sides. 6x equals 72. Divide both sides by 6. x equals 12, because 72 divided by 6 is 12.